Alaska Airlines because, yeah, yesterday they asked the FAA to shut themselves down because of some software glitch, not because a door fell off in mid-flight, thank God. Thank God. But apparently they got it resolved pretty quick, Pete. And then today they come out with Q2 earnings. They forecast that they'd be between 220 and 240. And now they expect the 2024 earnings of 525 a share. All that much better than expected. And that's why the stock's up 6% at mid-session. Yeah, it's a stock that's just having a great day. You just mentioned it. I mean, despite all of the negatives that we have heard in the news, they just continue to have that demand. And we've heard that already now from United Airlines as well. Now we're hearing it from Alaska. We're seeing a lot of the other names move to the upside as well. Maybe even some unusual out there in Southwest and some of the other names out there. By the way, we did see some of the Jets option paper the other day where they were buying puts, just to give people the information of what I was looking at when we were talking about this on a Zoom call. I was saying, hey, look, they're buying puts because they just want to protect a long position and they've gotten very, very inexpensive. And that was a hedge, not actually looking for them to go to the downside. They have been going up, up, up. We're looking at a stock today, John, in Alaska that's up six and a half percent. A very, very nice move and some very impressive numbers as well. Well, and that Jets, folks, is an ETF, an exchange-traded fund mm -hmm. that Pete's talking about there. And Delta is the biggest in there. They're 11.7%. United Airlines is 11%. American Airlines is 107 Alaska Airlines, only 3.25% of that. Mm -hmm. But nonetheless, Pete is exactly right about the concentration of those top five or six carriers and what they do to that particular ETF, which today, let me see, Pete, is up 2.4%. For an ETF, that's a pretty decent move. Wouldn't surprise you if a stock was up 2.4%, but an ETF, a broad market ETF, or maybe not broad, but certainly an ETF that's got, you know, whatever this is, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 different stocks in it. That's pretty good movement, Pete.